Welcome to this preview of Johann Sebastian Bach's Mass in B minor. Exactly when Bach began working on the Mass in B minor is not known with certainty. However, scholars generally agree that between August 1748 and October 1749, Bach gave the work his most devoted attention. That does not mean, however, that Bach composed the Mass in B minor in that short span of time. In fact, Bach had composed portions of the Mass much earlier. For his second Christmas in Leipzig in 1724, Bach composed a Sanctus in D major. This Sanctus will eventually become part of the B minor Mass. Similarly, Bach composed a Missa, Kyrie and Gloria movements, that was offered to Frederick August II, Elector of Saxony, in the summer of 1733. Bach hoped to receive a court title and promised to compose more Kyrie Gloria settings for the Elector's court in Dresden. In 1736, Bach was granted the title he requested and over the next few years composed other Misa settings. These compositions may have sparked Bach's musical imagination because in the 1740s he began experimenting with different ways to set the first line of the Credo, the third movement of the Mass. These many years spent setting some Mass texts like the Kyrie, Gloria, and Sanctus, and studying others, came to fruition in the late 1740s with the Mass in B minor. The genesis of the Mass is consistent with the composer's thorough treatment of musical styles and compositional techniques. Unlike other Bach works, the Mass in B minor was not known to have been written for a specific occasion. The reason Bach composed it probably rests on his natural tendency to create comprehensive works. The Sanctus from 1724 and the Misa from 1733 provided the nucleus for a larger scale composition, an opportunity for Bach to explore a new combination of sounds, textures, and musical styles. On February 20th, 1887, a letter to the editor published in the Boston Herald explains why the Handel and Haydn Society decided to present Bach's Mass in B minor the following week. When two years ago, the bicentenary of Handel and Bach was celebrated, we felt exceedingly sorry that that occasion passed without a production of Bach's grandest and most difficult work for chorus ever written. The challenges and rewards of experiencing Bach's Mass were not lost on the 19th century performers or audiences, and today the B minor Mass is still regarded as one of the grandest and most difficult works for chorus ever written.